Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you why you should not believe a photo alone of a laser thermometer temperature reading. Now, before I show this, I would like to make a disclaimer that this is not intended to imply that all laser thermometer readings are fake. It's just some people like to misuse the laser thermometer and like to trick it into reading higher than it's supposed to to make their machines look um, a lot better than it's supposed to so this is just more of a warning to say don't trust everything from just a photo so it's on cotton 40 with a tablecloth it's at temperature about 35 and I'm now going to, with this kettle, which is, which has boiling water in it, I'm going to keep it boiling while holding the um, IR sensor, infrared sensor, which is this bottom part, over the steam. And I'm going to then take a temperature reading of the machine again, so just so you are aware. Um, it has gone down to 32, that's another reason, the temperatures vary a lot. So up here could be 31, down here could be 32, 33. That's another reason to just be careful, because you have to get it in the right place. Anyway, I'm going to get some steam into the IR sensor and watch what happens. Bear with me a second. So now I've done it pretty extreme, so normally it won't be this much, but 143 degrees, a whole 100 degree difference. But yeah, you can see it decreases rapidly, so it's already gone to 120. But all they need to do is do that, take a photo, whatever temperature they want. So you could fake a proper 95 reading on a modern machine by doing that. Not that anyone would probably believe that, but on some machines from around, let's say 2015 or something, or we could use my old Bosch WIQ as an example, because that ink pack heated maximum temperature 78. People could, you know, use the steam trick on that, make it look like it's doing proper 90. So yeah, don't trust pure photos. If it's in a video clip and you can see it's not decreasing like, super rapidly although having said that this is still decreasing but nowhere near as fast but it's at 84 at the moment so yeah just bear that in mind when thinking about temperatures and when looking at people's photos of their temperatures the easiest way to be sure of what temperature a machine reaches use one of these wire probe thermometers because that way you can see if it's inside the drum and touching the water you can see the wire and you can see what the display is saying as well this is why switch to wire probe where possible obviously the ZWF doesn't like wire probe thermometers because it just gets pulled around the drum with the clothes so but with every other machine I use wire probe thermometers because these can be fooled way too easily. So just bear that in mind. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.